Okay, so what I'm going to show you guys today is how to register online for the CITI program. And all you need to do is just go to www.citiprogram.org and you should arrive at a site like this. And when you get here, just click on register in the top right corner. And you can see here that we've got seven steps to go through, but really it won't take very long. So search for organization. What it wants to know is what university you're affiliated with. So we're just going to type in Wichita, and as soon as we type in Wichita, our university comes up, Wichita State. And you can click on the Terms of Service here to read that, and then click on I Agree to continue to step number two. Then on this screen, it just wants your basic information, your first name. So I'm just going to put in a generic student name. You'll put your name in, obviously. And for email, I'm just going to put in one of my junk emails, but you will need to put in your WSU email here under email. Um, so I'm just going to put in one of my junk email addresses. but you'll put in your WSU email right there. And if you want to put a secondary email address, go for it. Um, but that's totally up to you. Okay, so click continue to step three. And it just has my old username in here, but you're going to create your own username. I'm just going to put in something random just to show you how it's done. And you're going to also select a password for yourself. And also, it's going to ask you a security question. So just choose one of those, something easy to remember, hopefully. Okay, it says my passwords don't match. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Okay, now country of residence, we're just going to type in United, and as soon as we do, United States comes up. We're going to select that, and then click continue to step five. Okay, now it's asking if you're interested in the option of receiving continuing education units. No, you are not, because that is for physicians, psychologists, nurses, and social workers who need continuing education units, so you're going to click no. Scroll down, and since you didn't select yes, you're just going to leave this section blank. Now, can CITI program contact you at a later date regarding participation in research surveys? That is totally up to you. If you want to participate in research surveys later on, go right ahead. Can CITI program contact you at a later date about marketing information? Again, up to you if you feel like participating in that or not. Okay, now click continue to step six. And under language, there's only one option. You're going to put in your institutional email. I'm just going to put in one of mine to show you how it works. And select our gender. You don't have to put in your highest degree, but you can if you want. Um, then you'll need to put in your WSU ID here. This is just a junk ID that I'm throwing in. All right, and department. You will put in whatever department you happen to be affiliated with. I'm just putting history as an example and role in research. Okay, on this one, role in research, you're going to scroll down and you're going to select student researcher, undergraduate. And you don't have to put your address or phone number. Scroll down to continue to step seven. 
And here under CITI course enrollment questions, we're going to keep scrolling. For question one, we're not going to put anything because we're not doing laboratory animal welfare. So we're going to keep scrolling. And we're not going to select anything under question two either because we're not doing responsible conduct of research. We're going to scroll all the way down to question three, human subjects research. Okay, so choose um, which learner group applies to you. Okay, so you're going to choose students conducting no more than minimal risk research. Do not check any of these others. This is the only one that you need to check in under question three. Okay, question four, are we, do we want to look at good clinical practice? Nope, not at this time. Question five, do we want to take health information, privacy, and security option optionally? Nope, not at this time. And do we want to look at the conflicts of interest course? Nope. Do we want to select your U.S. export control course? Nope. Do you want to enroll in the Essentials of Research Administration course? No. Nope. And the last one, question nine, um, do we want institutional or signatory official? No, nope. not at this time. Okay, so click on complete registration and that's it. It says, welcome to CITI program. Your registration with Wichita State University is complete. And then just click on finalize registration. Okay, so that's all it takes. Um, your registration has been completed successfully. You'll see this green uh, check mark if everything goes well. And here under Wichita State University courses, when you click on this, it'll just drop down this menu here. And this is the course that you're actually enrolled in, students hyphen class projects. And you'll see the status is that you have not started it yet and there's no completion record because you haven't earned it yet and you haven't done any surveys. So um, if you choose to log out at this point and come back later and do the actual training, you will just log in up here at the top and then when you get to this window, you'll click on uh, students class projects. Or if you wanna go ahead and continue on and do the training now, just click here. So it's telling you um, that what your current score is, um, but you haven't started yet. So to keep going, you'll just click on here, complete the integrity assurance statement before beginning the course. And you'll need to read this section and agree to the terms and conditions. Okay, now um, if you, again, you can log out and log back in. But if you want to keep going, you'll click here on Students in Research. Okay, so basically what um, is going to happen from here on out is you'll just follow whatever prompts are on the screen. And if the CITI training gives you all of this information um, about human subjects research, about the history of ethical regulations, the Nuremberg Code, and why the IRB regulates human subjects research. Um, so you'll need to read through all of this and afterwards it will ask you a series of questions that you'll need to answer correctly in order to pass. Um, one thing that I would recommend is that you couldn't actually just copy all of this information um, into, into a Word document like so so that you could look at it later. Um, and also, you could just save this entire page if you know how to save web pages. Okay, so after you've read this and scroll down to the bottom, you'll find that there's a link at the bottom that says, take the quiz for students in research. And that's the link that you'll click on to continue with the CITI program and get the certification that you'll need. So um, again, if you guys have any questions, just shoot me an email or a text message. I'll be happy to answer them. 
So that's it. Best of luck and let me know how it goes. Thanks.